Now we're going to practice adding fractions. In the first example, we're going to be adding two sevenths to a quarter. Now the crucial thing here to notice with adding fractions is you can only add them together if the denominator is the same. And when we talk about denominators, we mean this bottom number. You cannot add two sevenths to one quarter directly because the denominator is not the same. So we need to work out what is the common denominator that they both go into. So we need to work out what number that they both go into. This is 28. So what do you have to multiply 7 by to get to 28? Where well, you multiply it by 4, which is why you have to multiply the top number by 4. So 2 times 4 is 8. What do you have to multiply 4 by to get to 28? Where well, you multiply it by 7. So we therefore need to multiply the top number by 7. So 1 times 7 is 7. And now we're ready to actually do the math because the denominator is now the same. 8 plus 7 is 15. We put that over 28. And the nice thing here to do is to simplify. We want that fraction in its simplest form. However, it can't be simplified further because there isn't a number that goes both into 15 and 28. In this second example, we're adding a third to a half. The denominator is not the same. So what number does 3 and 2 both go into? That is 6. How do we get from 3 to 6? Well, we multiply 3 by 2. So we need to multiply the top number by 2. 1 times 2 is 2. How do we get from 2 to 6? Well, we multiply 2 by 3. So we need to multiply the top number by 3. 1 times 3 is 3. They have a common denominator, so we can just add them together to get a value, which is 5 6. Now we're going to practice subtracting fractions. The principle is extremely similar to adding them. So we're taking 1 quarter away from 7 tenths. Again, we need the same denominator. What number do both 4 and 10 go into? That is 20. It doesn't matter which number you pick, by the way. It could be 40, it could have been 80. Um, as long as it's the same number, that's okay. So what do we multiply 10 by to get to 20? We multiply it by 2. So let's multiply 7 by 2 to get 14. What do we multiply 4 by to get to 20? Well, the answer here is 5, so we need to multiply 1 by 5, so that's 5. 14 take 5 is 9, so 9 over 20 is your answer. Taking a second example now, so we're taking 1 quarter away from 4 sevenths. What number do both 7 and 4 go into? Well, that is 28. So what do we have to multiply 7 by to get to 28? That is 4, so 4 times 4 is 16. What number do we multiply 4 by to get to 28? Well, that is 7. 1 times 7 is 7. Now all you need to do is take 7 away from 16 to get 9 over 28. And that is your final answer. Hope you found this video helpful, guys. Don't forget to sub and like it if you want to see more similar videos. And I'll be back soon. Bye!